We're talking Latin now. Well, not us, but someone else. Uh, it's been a dead language for some time, but uh, it's still studied in schools, of course. Only really exists written down. One expert, though, trying to bring it back to life now by showing what street Latin might have sounded like. Yes, answering the question that many a schoolboy and girl has asked their teacher. But, sir, miss, what did it sound like? George Sharpley's made a mock documentary. It's called AD61, and we're going to talk to him in just a moment. First, though, we asked people on the streets of Sheffield to give us a few Latin phrases of their own. Oh, what was the question? Oh, yeah, memento mori. It means remember it's inevitable that we will all die. Deco ut caveat emptor. Deco ut caveat emptor. Quid me beatum facit obsonare. It's a dead language. The only purpose that I can relate to is in law and uh, medicine. Other than that, I think it's for the posh people to make themselves look a bit more educated than they are. Memento mori. Memento mori. <laughs> well, George Sharpley's written several Latin textbooks and came up with the idea for the documentary. We'll see a clip from it in a minute. Olivia Coburn is in the film and also an expert in spoken Latin. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Olivia, Salve. 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 Salve or Salve? Salve well, is vulgar. Salve is classical. There we are. Okay. Oh. Right. okay. Sal Upbraided yeah. already. That, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Always choices. Yes. Um, how do we know how it was spoken? Well, um, the Romance languages are, are show us, um, they give us a few clues, uh, because obviously if you compare the same word, um, you know, across the Romance languages, you can have an idea of how it might have been pronounced. The Romance languages being? French, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese. Mm. <coughs> also little things like jokes, where puns, where, where a pun is made on two words, you can tell that they obviously sounded alike, that sort of thing, and where people made consistent spelling mistakes, you can see that obviously the two, the two spellings that arise clearly had they used the same they, they, they had letters which clearly had the same sounds let's have a quick look at a clip from your mock documentary quid faciam si mea tota domus plena est cum ploratus sempiterno in culina in triclinio in orto ibiqui sunt vultus tristes tu i servi omnes resist faciris illos juve laetos esse I can see where you're coming from now because it sounds a little bit Italian, it sounds a little bit French. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, okay. Now, is it important that we know how it sounds? I mean, because it does answer that question that students uh, ask all the time about... Uh, absolutely. Latin is, I mean, all we have left of it is what's written down. And what we've tried to do is to, to, to re-establish that very important dimension of the language, the sound of it. And with Olivia's help, who's a particular expert in colloquial Latin, we've, tr we've tried to create what uh, Latin would have sounded like in the street. Mm. So that's, that's our aim. So your, your film AD 61 is mm. quite a dramatic story, actually, about what happens after a slave kills his master and the, the, the consequences there are based on fact. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that happened. I mean, there was a, there was a he was a city prefect, sort of equivalent of Boris Johnson, if you like, of his time. He was bumped off by one of his slaves, and the law was that if you were bumped off by one of your slaves, all the slaves in your household had to be put to death. Mm. Seems a bit harsh. Mm. Uh, very harsh, and there was quite an uproar. There was a huge backlash. Mm. And, and Olivia, do you, I mean, I don't know what the figures are for people studying Latin, but I I very much doubt they're increasing. Do you think that if people uh, heard how it was spoken and, and see drama like this, mm -hmm. and they're more likely to learn? I, it's a really, really good question, and I, I personally think that uh, if we promote the, the link between the Latin and the Romance languages, and how if you learn Latin, it will help you learn uh, French, Spanish, Italian, um, I think that perhaps more people will learn mm. to. And very quickly, where can you see your, your film AD61? Go to our website, if you don't find it anywhere else, which is lingua.co.uk slash Latin. <laughs> All right, we'll put those details on our website as well, so if you Fantastic. can find it, it's very interesting. Brilliant. What would we say for thank you? Gracias. Gracias and... Yes. All right, good. Is that <laughs> vulgar or not vulgar? That's right. Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're never vulgar on this programme. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.